We'll get all the uh, all the snowfalls and the wildpot caverns and then the fish and then we'll win. And if we don't, then we'll lose. Let's do it, chat. They still have flame with faceless at a 95 on Hearth Arena. Should we like um DM some of the Hearth Arena people? Be like, um, this card is at best a 60. Yeah, flame with is the worst card in this pack for sure. Easily. I think we just take treasure card. Yep, Panda. Yeah, I like Guard a lot. Pyro's okay. Watch this on YouTube, by the way. Greetings, everyone. It's a little premature to say that, but... Okay, now it's not anymore. Hey, YouTube. How you guys doing? <laughs> I think we can take a Hex over a Drake. That'd be good to have that. Grab a dredge, I guess. Grab a starfish, sure. I think I just want peasant, to be honest. This needs into parrot. True. I don't love zapper that much, personally. Yeah, I also, I just don't like it very much. Hmm. I don't know, corporal might be better, but this is fine. I don't mind just another hex. Oh, we got the thing. Nice. Maybe I should have believed in taking the parrot chat. We did it. Probably just take Bog Creeper, honestly. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this is so bad with Mercaw, it overwrites our shit. Uh, still the pick, I guess. We have two Frost, one Nature. Well, actually, two Nature. Could be this, then, actually. Probably. Might even be good with Parrot. I feel like commander over profit. If you've cast a spell, the only Naga we have is the treasure guard, so. Quite not worth it. Reef Walkers gets a premium score in this class as well, just because of schooling and shit. Uh, Geyser? I guess so. I guess Hippogriff. Can grab a 4 mana 7 7 now. Zero dragons. Cards winning is that bad? Hm. Maybe it baits people into hero powering. We don't need threes. I don't know, we can still take one. What's the best hero power in Arena? Probably Demon Hunter. It's like Demon Hunter and then and then Warlock, probably. I don't think I don't I don't think Rogue is as good as either Warlock or Demon Hunter personally. It's like if you have a bunch of puffer fists it's better, but otherwise it's not. I'm wondering if I should just coin this. Saving a coin for like either of these is probably good though. Really, it's not too heavy. I think we have a problem.
I don't really want to hex that. We're probably just, uh, I guess, Pyromancer Totem. What happened to the crew of Corrupted Healbot? The game changed in such a way that life total is actually important now. It used to be life total didn't really matter, and all that mattered was board. And that's just not the case anymore. It's basically a result of just the increased power level. Like, healing your opponent for 8 is, like, actually worth something now. And it just wasn't. I mean, we can just uh, snowfall into Lightning Storm, right? Should probably just do that. Help. Do I go Trog, Coin, Snowfall Guardian? I could go Snowfall Guardian, Coin, Trog. This is probably fine. Yeah, Trog after is reasonable, it's just we already have this guy, so I think it's fine. Oh, I regret everything, chat. Help. I like how we still just clear his board anyway, because why not? <laughs> and we're just still just strictly winning. And we still have a snoots. We've only played nature, right? So it's only someone's one right now. Yeah, I think it's fine as hex right now. Guess I'll play this over here, power. I assume schooling is schooling is not a nature spell. I could have held this, but I think it's just fine. Oh my god. Only. <laughs> Honestly, though, yeah, still getting uh, getting another uh, wind chill. Very good. Fine chat. We have him um, exactly where we want him. It doesn't matter that he just played the highest win rate card that's ever existed in the history of this fucking game. That, that, that doesn't matter. That's fine. That, that's just totally fine. We'll just get bloodlust. If 
Fuck. Nothing bad ever happens. Why not clear the board though? Because then we wouldn't set up lethal. And we'd also just be losing. We almost got 30 owed actually, if he would have gone face. This damn arena, by the way. I would like to point out that we're not playing constructed. Winning this game didn't make you feel good? Well, it's because we had a Snowfall Guardian. We had a Snowfall Guard. You have to understand the way that the vision for Arena right now, we were offered a Snowfall Guardian in draft. Therefore, we deserve to win games like that. You know, our opponent randomly discovered a Colossal, but we drafted a Snowfall Guardian, so we deserve to win more. That's just, that's just how it works. I'm gonna do this while it's still good. We could we could set up the reef walker for the second reef walker, but um, shit. I want to play this before it just gets completely eaten for free. I think I like this a little more right now. At the moment you click, you enter the class selection. It's not fixed when you enter because um, if you if there is a micro adjust or something, and you you if you do half a draft and they do a, like an actual micro adjust or they ban a card or something, then it applies as soon as you pick you get a new pick. Because you could do it in the past, people have done it, where you can actually have like a mix of two different card pools and stuff. Alright, since you're being a whiny baby, I'm just gonna like show you your way out then. The last Valkyrie I played was, uh... Wait, which one was it? I mean, I should just hold on for this, huh? I should probably cycle this. That's what I thought. I think it was Reef Walker. Should I... miss one damage, but it's four damage next turn. <laughs> oh, 
this monster, he killed it. Should I just, uh... Probably just not worth doing this, huh? Snowball's only a 6-6, freezes are on board, kind of bad. Jesus. I feel like Snowfall is like way better for everyone else than it is for me. And here's a personal problem. Maybe we're supposed to just do this? It's like we could also... Probably. Play the disgusting um, yellow fish. I almost want to greet it more. It's kind of what I wanted to do was just go for the starfish first. Question is, do I care about this 8-7? Do I actually just, uh... Like, I hex something. But do I hex the taunt instead of the other thing? I think I hex the taunt just to try to murder him, basically. Snowfall is such a. Have I mentioned that Snowfall is just a really fucking stupid card? It should have never been printed in this format. Have I mentioned that in the last five seconds? Yeah, do you like the part where we played like two cards and then our opponent just had the didn't have the ability to play the game anymore and instantly lost? No killing people in chat. That's not allowed. That's against the stream rules, probably. Actually, I don't have any stream rules, do I? Hmm. So maybe it's not against stream rules. It's fair enough. Gamba payout. Wait, was that the last? The Gamba that's active right now, was that the previous one? I'm wondering if this is worth a silence. They have like the four drop and stuff. Well, multiple four drops you would want to silence. I think this is fine. Like, it might be better to hold it, but. On average, it's probably not. He did bet a single point on 0 to 5, yes. <laughs> and he won. Four mana, 7-7! Seven, seven. Help. Nope. 
We have the treasure guard. Help. Nothing like purely answers that, right? Actually, no, you could get four damage, three mana deal four. Or two mana deal four. So I guess we fucking lose. Fair enough. Well, we have a turn seven Sneeds, so... We also have a Snowfall Guardian if we want it. What have I cast right now? Nothing, right? I think maybe I do both of these and I actually just shoot this just because it's one less Goliath rocket. Let's see what we get here. Wait, do I even want to play this now? I want that thing. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I guess it's still fine. I, I mean, I'm playing this next turn anyway, so it doesn't actually matter which one I draw first. How many VIP slots do I have left? Probably like 30 or something. I have a lot of them, I think. I haven't looked in a long time. Are three Tooth of too many? I don't think you could have like nine and that wouldn't be too many. Poor guy. Imagine thinking he's winning and not thinking that he's just going to lose the game to one card because something something this meta, basically. That is actually the best. That has to be the best Goliath ever. Turn 7 Goliath. What did we- we killed like what? Fucking like... <laughs> 17 damage. We cleared 17 damage perfectly with that thing. It's disgusting. I could try to freeze it, but I don't see what we're gonna do about it anyway, so let's just uh... Let's just wait. Yeah, and now it also kills a Bog Creeper. And now he's gonna just play Scale of Anixia into Scale of Anixia into uh, Miracle Growth, and then we'll just lose anyway, because fuck us is why. <laughs> is that where the Hex Maelstrom? Might be. I can do a uh, Maelstrom Snowfall, actually. Sure, let's do that. Just kill that and then... Just play a 10-10. your own minion to protect the 9-2. Valid. This guy is bog champing out of his mind. Can he stop playing? He's, he, does he just only have pairs of cards? Seems like it. Poor, poor, poor druid. He got a copy off Moonlight Guidance. That would be the reason, yeah. That's probably why. <laughs> Can I stop bull bullying druids? Uh, no. I will continue to bully druids. Because the druids, uh, the druids deserve it.
Do we just get wrecked? Maybe. Could also play schooling, because like if he's gonna hear a power, it's a little awkward for us, but it's not the end of the world. I'm wondering if we even reef walk or if we if he wants to just like keep here powering that I don't really mind it to be honest. Something about I think I do, I think I just coined this. Talking about cards that should have never been printed in this game. It's not a frost spell. I know, right? You got the wrong guy. It's not frosty enough. It needs to be frostier. Wampa should have been three threes. The thing is, is in standard, it's actually like somewhat balanced where it is, which is why they're never going to change it. Standard and wild. I guess I just freeze that guy. Okay. I think we have a hex target, Chad. I think we have a new hex target. I should probably just play this. You know, Skullduggery with the uh, Prime sub. Welcome. Appreciate the support. I think if we had infinite board space, we actually have lethal there. Nah, I think we're a little off, actually. Yeah, we need to make sure that we have all three of our frozen staggereds lined up. I like how this guy played like fuck <laughs> million taunt and he just dies anyway. It's truly glorious. Let's play the redfish. You gotta give the importer lethal to thank it for the Windpaw Cavern. Our opponent had fun this game. Smiley face. I'll keep this like 2016 combo, I guess. <laughs> Agnes, thanks for the follow. Hiya, friend! Did they do a second round of micros? Not that we know of. Rogue number one. So they did the balance adjustment, which put rogue number one because they just buffed like three of Rogue's already best cards for Arena. So that's why Rogue is number one now. They buffed Tooth and Nefari in the four drop discover and something else. What was the other one? I have a changes command for this.
You see, what I was, you remember when I was talking earlier this stream about how, like, Ibis would have a much higher win rate if you just weren't capable of playing it until turn four? <laughs> so people couldn't do this and throw games by doing this? Not that he, he, we might have won anyway, but. Like, I feel like Ivis would have a higher win rate, even if you made it like a worse card by like making it like a 5 mana 5-5 five five or something with the same effect. Like, it would still probably have a higher win rate in Arena. Uh, hold up. This is a puffer, right? I mean, this is a, uh. That's a fish, right? We get a fish off of that? It's probably worth it, actually. It's probably worth it. Yeah, it's like we could save it for Scoundrel, but that's just gonna be so slow. Their Slaying Priest die. It's like, the thing is, is that they don't have the ability because, you know, the team in charge of, um, I'm gonna play these, the modes team doesn't have control over what cards are in the arena right now. Until they do something about that, which I think they need to do, but until they do that, they don't have control over what cards are in the arena. So... You know, they're subject to whatever the hell the, uh, the the standard balance team actually decides to do for cards, so... That's just always going to be a problem, I think, until they fix that. Until they do something about that. They can't- there's no level adjustments they can do to a class like Priest right now. To make it not feel- terrible to play against basically and now our opponent played one card and then oh tech wave <laughs> and then we lost the game instantly except then we unlost the game instantly because um easiest top deck of our lives yeah i couldn't even finish complaining like i'm trying to complain and then I just can't, I can't finish complaining. Like, what the hell, Blizzard? You're cutting off my complaining. Yeah, it's true, right? You could just hex the taunt and then he can't, um... You're right. You can just hex the taunt and then he doesn't get it back anyway, so we always had that available anyway. That is true. The Gorp, thanks for the follow. We're probably supposed to just Reef Walker, I think so. Unfortunately, there's no way we're getting this. So this is the line, right? We go Importer into Faceless into Makan to get another spell. Seems pretty good. Or we just win the game on the spot. That's also fair. I hate Shaman, dude. <laughs> Can they just ban this class from Arena, actually? Like, I mean, they only need to ban, like, three cards, to be fair, but... This class is so stupid in this mode. Why is this a thing?
Wampa, Snowfall, and I think they need to reduce schooling, personally, to be honest. I think this one. And Skull and uh, not Scalding Geyser, um Maybe schooling is not schooling is unfun to play against, I think, but it's not it's not as big of a problem. The one the discover Ashura and Scroll, yeah, that's the one. Ashura and Scroll, they need to do something. Like the fact that there's only two fire spells and they're both broken. Like that's just not you know, they need to do something about that. Even if it's just literally adding more fire spells into the card into the card pool. Like that would be enough, right? Like those kind of like something stuff like that is just really dumb. Oh. It's not objectively like OP, but it's just like really. I don't know, discovers are supposed to be, it's funny, but it's like discovers are supposed to be random, right? But when they're literally not random, when you only have one or two options, like it's just, it makes it really kind of stupid. It's just dumb. Beautiful. And because we discovered a Wampa Cavern, we again have a full board worth of Frozen Staggers on board on turn six. Well, I think of the Marvel Snap team, I haven't really seen anything. I saw it, but I didn't really like watch it to the extent that I could understand what was happening or anything. I saw I heard a lot of people say good things, so good morning, my beautiful cow. Give me your best shot. Help. Speaking of dumb cards. Help has arrived, exactly. I wonder if I'm supposed to push all the damage first this time. Maybe. I feel like I am. Just so he doesn't like randomly live with a small removal. Like maybe I should have kept one minion, like maybe just not done this. So that this would be able to clear a small taunt or something. Maybe. I need to hex this. I need to kill this and I need to hex that probably. Am I playing a 7-7 seven, seven, then? I guess. You're 11 one with a pre-micro druid deck. Yeah. Three seven seven understandable. Remember when we would have like crapped our pants when our opponent played a seven seven, and now it's just like we're just like, oh yeah, that's just like kind of normal now. <laughs> like, yeah, that's just what we expect actually. I haven't played a frost spell yet. Could still honestly be, um, maybe I play this instead of Glacier. 
don't know, Glacier could be better. <laughs> Very much depends on whether or not you hit the uh, other card that shouldn't exist. We can believe, I guess. Grab a spell, I guess. YOLO. Uh, we want Pile of Stats. We'll probably just take the Alakir, right? Because it's just more instant. Like a 7 9 is way better, but. He actually has to deal with this. Next turn, we can play Coral Creeper, Volpera, and Trawler to dredge up Ice Hoof. No! Well, these breakpoints are terrible. Mystery? Maybe Farsight, actually. I think I like Farsight, actually. What's the best card to get the Glaciate? The, uh, it's not a demon, the Lieutenant. It's not a demon. But yeah, the, the card that eats. That's always what you're looking for, basically. Scale for only five. He should uh, trade this off before he does all these. Scale balanced. They did it, chat. They balanced scale of Nixia. This is why he should have. Uh, this is why he shouldn't have done it first. Because the shark would have not wasted all his shots into face, most likely, had there been more targets on board. Do I just clear his board? I don't like missing the damage because I mean I'm just trying to kill him but I mean we have sustain right? Bzz. I was promised a Goliath chat. What happened? Nice. We got the heal to activate our opponent's Night Captain. Beautiful. Hard specifically banned from draft in Arena should also be banned from Discoveries. Yes, they should be. The thing is, the technology isn't there yet. Surely it'll be there soon. It's just, it actually is a technology thing though, like they just haven't coded the ability to, for them to do that, right? Like, I think they, w like this is the thing like, that I think is the primary thing they need to change and I'm, it's gonna be the thing that I'm essentially talking about the most to try to get them to change will be to do that. Cause I think it's just, it's time at this point that that gets fixed. Because it just wasn't, it wasn't a huge priority for the longest time, basically. We're at the point where it needs to be fixed. It wasn't a problem until they started printing so many absurdly broken cards for standard, right? Which only happened basically in the last year. Like up to now, it literally wasn't a problem, but now it's a problem. <laughs> Did he just kill my totem? Thank you. My to you. <laughs> no 
Ok. Do I kill the taunt or do I kill the 4-4? Four four? I can push 4 damage. It's an interesting choice, actually. Given that we know Sneed is in our top 7 cards, like it would just be better to kill this, probably. Also, like, we have the 6-5 to threaten this, which means he's going to have to trade everything into that. He's going to have to trade all of these, probably. This guy really just doesn't like totems. Whenever I get a heal tone, I can take this bump. We did, chat. We're pushing damage. <laughs> we're, we got through the turtles, finally. It just took literally 69 years. It still has value, holy crap. He still has value. We know that Goliath is in our next five draws. We also know that Treasure Guard, potentially to find it, is also in the next five draws. However, Trawler delays it. Nice, okay. Ancient lore for heal. Last time someone did this, I lost. How many times am I gonna die to ancient lore healing, chat? Fuck. Worst draw on the deck, actually. I guess I can get the Sunken Sentinel, though. I can pull that up. But I don't want it. Like, I want Goliath. I know Goliath is in the next two cards. Goliath is 100% in the next two cards. <laughs> so, I don't want to dredge. So I probably just don't, I guess. Yeah, like, the next two draws are Bog Creeper and Goliath. We just don't know the order. And then after that, we dredge up the uh, Sentinel, I guess. We did it, chat. Uh, I guess I can uh, dredge up the Sentinel now. Do I kill two Treants or the 4-4? Four four? I think two Treants, actually. Another Ancient Lord draw. What the fuck? For heal. <laughs> Excuse me. I 
think 1-1's one, good. I should have thought about it a little more, but I think the 1-1 one, one you actually want, so I think it was right to trade first. Four totem. Stop discovering shit! Chokes on you, bro. You drafted the scale of Anixia, so you can't actually get one. You actually lost one game in fatigue this meta. I've had games get, like, right to the edge of fatigue, but I've never had a game actually get decided by fatigue, I think. There's a demon hunter with draw, but no threats. Basically, the only time it ever happens to me that I lose to fatigue is if I'm playing Warlock. It's like a zoo Warlock that doesn't have enough threats, basically. But I don't play Warlock now, so... I should, I should start playing more Warlock, because Warlock's a lot better now. But also, the new Warlocks aren't going to die to fatigue very often, because they have curses. <laughs> they actually have curses, and those will actually help. Now those cards are actually pickable. 6-0 Hunter. He's going to play a turn 4 Mountain Bear, and we're going to be really salty about it. a hearth ring score for this deck i think it was like a 75 it was very high help i can actually check yep 75 One of these things is not like the others. Am I supposed to just push seven? Probably. You have Snowfall, so it's like this whole trading thing just doesn't really make sense. Maybe Scoundrel is better first. The thing is, like, we have the option to go Snowfall into uh, Sneeds, so... Well, we got honorable kill now. Or not. One, two, three, four, five, I guess. And then we just boom, boom. It's gotta be right. When the hunter becomes the hunted, but then he keeps cheating. He keeps playing taunt minions. Has no honor. Actually, negative honor. Nothing A. We played a fire spell and a uh, 
Wait, is it? We only played a fire spell, right? Yo, Samku with the uh, Prime sub for three months. Welcome back, welcome back. Appreciate the support. He's a fucking Varian! I'm not allowed to complain about Varian after I play Goliath, right? That's the thing. Only if it draws three. Okay, only drew two. Okay. If it draws three, then I'm allowed to complain about it. It drew two, so it's fair. Do we want a lightning storm? I don't even know if I'll play that. To be honest, maybe I go... I think we just play all of these. In these dirty yellow fish. I could... Yeah, the trades aren't worth missing eight. We need to buy another one of these giant wire balls. Fuck! Shit, these cards are all broken. Don't stand the fire is one off of being really good. Still really good. It's probably this just because this card is stupid. Storm? I can actually get the hex up. I can pull up the hex. Yeah, it's funny, you're skipping the scroll, but honestly, the hex is just better, I think. Why did we get Taunt Totem? We had to get Taunt Totem. Freaking Taunt Totem. We still have... Actually, we can't even get a... Uh, can't even get a dredge off of the... Pandaren, can we? Dude, seriously? Wait. <laughs> He's like not targeting the 9-1. I'm like, excuse me, sir. Uh, surely we get lethal, right? will be good regardless of what we get. It's lethal. Just even when you don't draft 
Asheron scroll still how you win with shaman you just discover two Asheron scrolls and win that way You'd love to play his deck. He was a 6 0 hunter. It's a pretty damn good. It's a pretty damn good duck. Yeah, I've gone like. I had a 9 1 hunter that didn't have half the card quality his deck had. There's a fair chance, like, he probably will go 12 with that. Even though he lost to us. We're just that one bullshit deck that he couldn't beat, basically. Because we also only won just because we happened to counter him because we have two hexes, right? Our deck, if we don't have two hexes, even in spite of the Goliath and everything, had no fucking chance against him. Except we just happened to counter. I should catch a Pokemon in my Discord. What will I catch? A Relicanth. I recognize that Pokemon. Sure. This is probably turn four, this is probably turn five, I guess. Yeah, I'll just get things to a fall. Help. Uh, do I ever hex that? Probably not. It's not a terrible hex, but I think this is fine. If he's gonna value trade, like we can do this and this and kill it off and then still be pushing seven, so. He's thinking about if he can afford to take the uh, sunken gardens, because it's actually gonna activate our frostbite. It's kind of funny. Go ahead, bro. I know you know we have the frostbite. Go ahead, do it. Do it. Chose a school teacher instead. Yeah, that's probably just that's just a legitimately like valid choice, probably. Um well we're obviously playing this. Probably still just using a frostbite here. I probably kill that off. He has worked for Nike. He's a doctor of um, he's a doctor of Twitch emotes. Make sure to not make Doctor Stein's uh chat red. He definitely won't like that. He might start um breathing heavy. Oh my God! Another one! Another one! Rip. fine because like if we get the uh the high roll it's not even good right now i've only played frost could we just play hippogriff but we'll still take it i guess it's like our high roll just isn't that good it's only a 6 mana 5 9 rush effectively that also needs to be killed or else the game ends. <laughs> hey Narwigs, happy Saturday. Don't worry, our opponent is having fun this game. Skill check completed successful. You, yeah, we won the, the um, I don't know what the odds are, it's like maybe like a 1 in 10, 1 in, 1 in 8, something like that. And then we also won the coin flip. So that's just how you know that we're good at the game. Now he has to put all of his shit into this to kill it.
Have I mentioned how awesome of a mechanic dredge is when you have broken cards in your deck? It was like, oh, I was never going to draw Goliath? Uh, never mind. You know, we had a game where Goliath was our fifth card from the bottom. Yeah, now you're actually lucky when you uh, when Goliath is at the bottom. It's glorious. That was a giant fucking night captain. Holy shit. Play a two drop, I dare you. Come on. No balls. Take, fa take three face damage for no reason, I dare you. The missile's incoming! What is the, uh, what's that voice line? What does it say? Should I add this as a sound clip for my stream? Sea to land missiles incoming. Fair enough. Sea to land missiles incoming! But this guy is clearly a land missile launcher. This doesn't make any sense, chat. My immersion is ruined. Six damage. So we're a little off. It has a sail on it, but it's clearly on land. Uh, we can let the orange fish die. Yeah, actually, I should add the Silas one. The Dark Moon Fair! Adventure and excitement await! With how many Silas decks we had? This poor guy is just gonna keep playing Palmer Aldrakes and just die anyway. Poor guy. He found lethal, though. He didn't found lethal. He's he's not skilled enough in the game to find a lethal available to him there. Truly a tragedy. <laughs> Imagine missing lethal there. Why is Shaman 50%? Yeah, I don't know why Shaman drops so much. I don't think Shaman, like, specifically dropped. I think what happened is just everything is so close that it just... Things are just gonna bounce up and down, basically. I don't think we keep Goliath. Well, no, it's like, what we're talking about is like, Shaman specifically, Shaman was tied with Druid, like, 30 hours ago. And then the rogue change happened, and then, and then, uh, Shaman dropped. And I think it might just be variant. I, I would expect that's just variant. We'll probably look tomorrow and they'll be close again. I don't know. Because Shaman was literally tied for number one with Druid. Like... 30, 36 hours ago. <laughs> I can silence his minion. Problem. I guess we we kill everything though, right? So it's obviously not frostbite. Schooling versus treasure guard is interesting though. Probably treasure guard, honestly, just to get draw. I think so. Probably. 
probably just gonna have to kill that. Shaman discovered starfish off of Tomb Spider. Disgusting. Not like this, Jack. <laughs> Why did we have to say the word? You understand that you're one damage off, are you? Guess he doesn't care. Okay. Like how like the entire like all of what we're doing with this whole deck is like yep get the treasure guard because you know why we need to find this card <laughs> so this card can win us the game by itself you started picking treasure guard more highly i was always picking it really highly but yeah it's better than stonehill ever was basically it's about as good as basically stonehill and paladin was because the thing is is like cards in your deck are so good nowadays that just drawing from your deck is just really good <laughs> I don't feel like that's good enough for a snowfall. Tempo hex on the four or five and play a treasure guard. Yeah. Uh, I feel like we need but we need more value out of stuff. thing is this we could um you could play this after the f snowfall so it can actually attack that'd be an option turns out none of our decisions actually mattered fair enough we might still draw something good There's still time to draw Goliath, theoretically. Better draw now. Goliath right now might actually be good enough. We would still be losing even from that position though. More value. Holy shit. Are we just dead? <laughs> We're actually just dead. <laughs> yeah, like six more damage too. Holy shit. Good matchup for Peasant in the opening round. What is it? What is it? Is it worth coining a Reef Walker? It might be. Probably is. Just 
to have a more robust board. I think it's fine. Kind of trying to just murder him. If it forces out a turn three lightning storm, great. Maybe he would have gotten that anyway, though. Stop playing Hearthstone for nine months, came back and hit an 11 on your second run. Nice. Thank you. Remember when we had a board? These guys only played two cards and they were Lightning Storm and Don't Stand in the Fire. I kind of see what kind of game this is. Never has another spell. Thank God. What was the the last? Uh, I got a uh, wind chill if I play this right now, right? I got confused for a second because I, for some reason, I thought I played Macaw. And I was like, wait, how did I? I don't know. I swear my brain is working. It's like somewhat working. It's partially working. But he's dead right now. Even with Taunt Totem. How probable is streaming on YouTube? It does not pay my rent, I'll just put it that way. The thing is, is like monetizing, I don't know, people, arena streamers in general are not good at monetizing. I don't, I put so little effort into monetizing and it shows if you look at my revenue. <laughs> I don't know, monetizing its own thing. Like, cause streamers of my size can like make a full time living off of streaming, but I can't cause I don't monetize well enough. You know, so it kind of depends. It's its own thing. I see streamers that have 20 viewer average that make like three times as much as I do off of Twitch probably. So it's just like... Help. I forgot this card existed to be honest. I might want this. Just take that, I guess. Ah, uh, Ripstein, truly tragedy. I mean, it's like, it's a thing. It's also why I don't aggressively monetize is because like, I mean, if I were to aggressively monetize, like it would annoy people and pe less people would watch, right? Like, I don't want to, to me, like the money right now doesn't really matter, you know? So I don't want to aggressively monetize. I choose not to. What you have to do, the way to like, the way to do it is you just make it a meme. Because some big streamers do this, they make it a meme that, oh yeah, just go ahead, just Twitch Prime, because it's a meme, haha, <laughs> just meme, and they say it like every 30 minutes. That's what you have to do. 
So you can just meme about the fact that people should give you money. That's what you do. It's just a meme. Haha, <laughs> also give me money. <laughs> that's what you do. And that's the way you get best of both worlds. It's entertainment value and it makes you money. Perfect. I guess we play this. Nothing bad ever happens. Would I ever do sponsored content? I would at some point. I would have to like actually, it would have to be a game I actually want to play. Like, you know, if like Legends of Runeterra offered to sponsor me, I would probably do it. You know, but like they never have. So I should probably ask them actually. You know, if it's, it's just, it would have to be a game I actually wanted to play. Like the new game. The one that uh, Ben Broad made, if they offered me, I'd probably do it, you know, but. <laughs> you got the wrong guy, pal. Raid Shadow Legends? I've passed on Raid Shadow Legends sponsorships. I just didn't want to because I've gotten like the way they do it is that they offer they have like all these different like people that are all working that they all contract out and I've gotten like emails from like not exaggerating like actually like seven of them seven different people all being like hey we have a uh, we have a client that wants to sponsor you and you see it you know it's them because it's always the same rates and everything so it's like I'm wondering if I should just not kill this. Probably, right? Just leave the threat. I mean, he couldn't deal with this, so how's he gonna deal with this? Night Captain. Well, this is the thing, right? It's like, cause I mean, it's it's different if you're a full-time streamer, but for me, like I can barely, you know, sometimes I only get to stream like 20, 30 hours a week. So like, if I wanna like have a audience for Twitch and stuff, like I can't just, it's essentially just like the money isn't worth it like for me personally if you have a whole bunch of time and you're streaming you know 60 hours a week why the fuck not right you could stream 70 hours of hearthstone or you could stream 60 hours of hearthstone and 10 hours of a bunch of like sponsored content right then it's it's not a big problem for me if i'm only streaming 30 hours a week of hearthstone if i'm cutting out 10 hours a week of hearthstone it hurts me more just because there'll be less people that get to watch me play any Hearthstone at all. Mr. Fish. Big Fish. I can go Starfish, Pyromancer, Dredge, Spy. Seems pretty good. Well, YouTube's also just its own thing. Like, YouTube's very different from Twitch. As far as, like, especially if uh, under a relative short term, if you want to make money, you should do Twitch. I mean, you should do YouTube, actually. You should focus entirely on YouTube. You should not even go anywhere. To be honest, you should not even think about Twitch. <laughs> but, um... Because, I mean, there's just way more. It's way easier to make way more money off of YouTube. And the strategy is just different. To the face!
isn't about shorts these days. I don't think that's valid for you for like Hearthstone content. Shorts are like a, I don't know. I haven't looked in, like, I don't think it matters for like Hearthstone, for example, but like, they're a thing, like, I know like there are like certain like fitness YouTubers I've seen that blew up out of nowhere off of shorts, but I don't know that you can do that with like Hearthstone. <laughs> for gaming in general, it probably just isn't, yeah, you're probably, it probably just isn't great. Cause like, there's white, like what's this guy like? What's his name? I watched like a little bit of him, but. Noel Dazel. Yeah, that guy. Like that guy blew up from, he has like 2 million subscribers. He didn't even have a YouTube channel like a year ago. <laughs> but like YouTube is its own game. I think we just played this. Okay. Shorts is basically junk food. Yeah, it's like what TikTok is, right? I, I don't know, maybe I'm too boomer. Maybe I'm too old to understand, but like... Because people will say things, it's like, oh, maybe you make a TikTok channel for your Hearthstone shit. And I'm like, I don't... I don't want to go anywhere near that place. I seriously think it's, I think the existence of TikTok is actually like actively bad for humanity. I'm gonna be honest, like. Well, yeah, TikTok came from Douyin, which I have Douyin on my phone actually too. Uh, are we, do we want to snowfall? We probably don't, right? We probably don't need to. We probably don't snowfall unless we have to. Probably just use a hex then. It's just uh, seems fine. Probably just another hex, huh? And... I wasn't gonna say anything during the game, that was Hubie. I'm, I apologize. Someone tell Hubie, I'm sorry. It carries to my- Well, the thing is, is like, the reason I think TikTok is so terrible not only is it, it caters to young people that have low attention span, but I also think it severely lowers their attention span too. I think it's really bad for people. Like, I really do think it's damaging. So I don't want to be like a part of it personally. And I also, I actually, um, one of my cousins actually works for an agency that manages like content creators and stuff. And she was telling me about how awful, like TikTok's just a terrible place. There's just like so many just things they do. It's just like, Jesus. We don't realize like people criticize YouTube cause like obviously YouTube isn't perfect either, but it's like they're fucking angels compared to TikTok. Like, holy shit. Like, To a level that it's hard to even explain to people, like... Tick YouTube does a really good job at a lot of things compared to... Like, I'll use an example. The, like, one of the examples she gave me was that, um... You know, you get deranked on TikTok if you have anything... If there's anything in the background of your video that shows that you're not wealthy. 
like if you're you know if they can just see in the background that oh you're in a poor your house is not well built anything that just looks a little messed up the, their their algorithm will actively derank you <laughs> for that cuz it's just there's like it's just really fucked up that was the example they like actually gave me cuz i don't know and like they're literal like their terms like it literally has like a um explanation for it which is basically we don't want people to feel bad by like seeing poor people basically it was something to that effect it was just like holy shit man <laughs> it, was, it was literally something to that effect it was really bad i could pull up Macon, get another dredge off of it Oh, grab that. Did Duyun do that as well? Probably. I don't, I don't know about Duyun. I would guess they did, though. But yeah, I would think so. Because, like, honestly, that probably is the reason it existed in the first place. Am I ever going to make arena guide? I have multiple arena guides on YouTube right now. Okay, we need we need to be less edgy until until we get one more win. I can't talk about this stuff that will get myself censored off of YouTube. <laughs> we need to we need to chill for a few more minutes, and then we'll talk about it more. <laughs> I can't get monetized right now, chat. This will be a good video. I when we had a board. I just I said one phrase I need to not say. So I just need to go back and make sure I edit that out of the YouTube video. That'll be perfect. Oh we're getting sharked, not like this. Cause I can't talk about an earth that is not round, or else that'll get me uh, demonetized. But the earth is uh surely is definitely round. <laughs> Freaking uh things hmm. let's uh I'll get the totem out then actually it is a it is it is certainly ball shaped it's not perfectly spherical though this is an important thing to know the earth is not totally spherical it's actually a hexagon we don't we don't tell people that that's the, that's the secret. How do we get here, chat? To dodecahedron? How have you proved this? What did you do your PhD on Earth being a dodecahedron? Is that why you're a doctor? Oh. 
I guess we're fine to just slow play this. I'm just a little concerned about um, sitting around and waiting to find out which broken card he has. Oh, we found out which broken card he has. Fair enough. I was like, it's just, he's going to draw it eventually, right? It's okay, we also have broken card. We just need to find it. I could save the hex and use these. We're probably not getting a better hex anyway. I can actually just play this. Yeah, why do I always get two yellowfish? What the fuck? What the hell is this garbage? Game is literally unplayable. That's a problem. 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 It's a draft it, Thaw knows. Um, I haven't actually played a fire spell yet, right? We're definitely playing these two stinky yellow fish. I wonder if we're ever supposed to... We're probably just supposed to not play those. I don't know. It's just we could... Uh, we could basically all in right now. Maybe that's worth it. Actually, we could pull up a Macaw with this, huh? I guess that's good. Make sure not fuck up the order here. <laughs> Could have had an extra 3-3. Three, three. I don't think we played a frost spell, did we? Oh, did we play a freeze? Oh, we did play a freeze. Yeah, I guess so. I should have just not played this. I was like, we had a 2-3 instead of a 3-3, three, three, but we just had this in hand. Because wait, we played freeze, fire, and nature. Yeah, so this, we would have just had this in hand still. Yeah. Another shark. Fuck. <laughs> this is fine. He would have picked it already. He's looking at the mystery choice. He's gonna YOLO it. <laughs> cycle of hatred. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't know. Why is cycle of hatred a card? It's not even playable and constructed. He chose Need for Greed over mystery. It means he probably has a Chaos Nova in his deck. The odds of getting a mystery choice is probably higher than. Probably higher odds to go for the mystery, actually. We type hello YouTube. We can type hello YouTube. You know who will see it? Everyone on YouTube. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment, and all these things. We did it, yeah. This is not the time to use the cocking emote. This is totally not the time. It turns out when you get Goliath, you just tend to go 12. It's funny how that works, right? You just get broken card and then you just go 12. It's easy. Four and eighty-five gold. Nice. I don't know. I'll have to refer a uh, scientist about that, Dr. Stein. Probably. Alright, bye-bye, YouTube. Bye-bye.